All right, all right, all right. Hello, everybody. Welcome, welcome. How are you doing? Today is Saturday, March 25th, 2017. I am Darkseid Phil. Hello and welcome. How is everybody doing today? <clears throat> I certainly hope that you are having a good day. Um, a lot going on today, for sure. A lot of, uh... Stuff going down. You know what I'll do here is that while I'm starting to record pre-stream, I will refresh my stream here uh, on my laptop because it's outdated. <laughs> it says that I'm still playing Zelda, but I know that I've updated the information to say I'm playing Mass Effect, so I guess I should refresh. <clears throat> What's going on, everyone? It's the weekend. Finally, right? And uh, good to see many of you here, many of the regulars I see in the stream chat. Welcome. How are you? Hopefully this is going to be a fun a fun day for you. Today is a full day of streaming for me. From end to end today, I will be streaming. Um, yeah, the first up here, we've got Mass Effect Andromeda continuing. And I'm hoping that finally, please, for the love of, the, of God, I hope I get off the snow planet today. Because <laughs> it's been absolutely ridiculous. I did so much content on this freaking snow planet. And last stream, I was like, oh, okay, time to leave. And then the game was like, nope, the story continues on the snow planet. Like, wow, jeez. Um, so, yeah, pretty excited for more Andromeda today to see where the game goes. Hopefully it takes us off this snow planet and into new areas. That would be nice. Um, and then later tonight, I'll be playing more Zelda. Okay. And uh, the bottom line is with Zelda... Uh, I'm actually in the home stretch, if you're not aware, if you haven't been uh, following along the playthrough. Uh, as of yesterday, I completed the, the final Divine Beast. I'm wrapping up a big, long side quest line that I've been doing for the length of the game. And then there's really two more areas in the map that I want to explore. And, uh, and then I just have to wrap up the memories, which are little areas you have to investigate to remember the past. And then I can beat the game. So it's looking like possibly maybe one to two more sessions of Zelda, and I am done. Finally, I know, it's been a long playthrough. At this point, it's been almost three weeks since the game released. Um, actually, I take it back, as of yesterday, it was three three weeks since the game released. But keep in mind, I didn't play it until the 6th. I didn't play it until March 6th because my Switch had died, and I had to get it on Wii U. <clears throat> so, uh, I am excited. For today, a big full day of new gaming goodness for you, and I certainly hope that you enjoy the day here with me on stream. Uh, four hours of Mass Effect, and then there'll be two hours of Zelda later tonight. As for YouTube uploads, it'll pretty much be the same. Um, I'm actually behind one session now on Zelda on the YouTube uploads, but that's good because what I'm trying to do with this new... Uh, upload schedule is I'm trying to always have a, a, one major batch of videos kind of queued up so that I have a something to upload when I have my day off and my actual day off is going to be Monday I know I haven't had a day off in a while I, I was supposed to have Wednesday off but uh, my girlfriend ended up being sick she ended up being sick earlier this week had laryngitis and couldn't even talk for a couple days and wasn't feeling so good so we weren't able to go out <clears throat> Uh, on Wednesday like we wanted to. So that's the day, we're going to have our day out on Monday. Uh, which is perfect because it kind of gives us a little bit of relaxation before I get the gruelingness of the Dark Souls 3 DLC this week, right? <laughs> so. Should be pretty fun. Um, a fun day today. A fun weekend because, you know, today I'm doing double streams. Uh, of, of Mass Effect Andromeda and Zelda. Tomorrow, I'm going to be doing some Overwatch. And I know I haven't played Overwatch in quite a long time. Um, I also uh, haven't uh, been... I haven't played Overwatch at all since I started my new kind of streaming method of interactivity with the stream chat. Uh, and I'll be checking out the new character, Orissa, who released this week, tomorrow... So, if you are someone who has played Overwatch with me in the past and you're interested in playing, um, let me know. I am going to be, you know, doing a session tomorrow and looking for a full team. As you know, when you have a full team playing Overwatch, it ends up being a, a better experience overall than just playing with randoms, for sure. Um, 
Yeah, and that should be interesting. And I should get a ton of gameplay in. Um, I don't necessarily know if I'm going to upload all of that gameplay tomorrow. Simply because it's going to be probably a ridiculous amount for four hours. You know what I mean? Um, so what I might do is save that up and, and upload that on Monday. I'm not sure, but the way it's going to work is... Uh, I'm going to spread out my, my uploaded videos so that I have uploads going every single day on DSP Gaming rather than having a downtime day, alright? And yes, it is on PS4. Everyone everyone who's played with me before knows that. I will be playing Overwatch on PS4 tomorrow. Uh, so that'll be good for variety's sake. And then, uh, and then this coming Tuesday, the Dark Souls 3 DLC begins... I'll be playing The Walking Dead episode, or uh, Season 3, Episode 3, but that'll be offline, because that is a narrative-based game, because that is a game that, you know, anything that's narrative-based, I think I will not stream, and it'll be a YouTube exclusive, that way it, potential spoilers and stuff uh, can't happen. Uh, oh my god, excuse me. Whew. Excuse me, a bird came out of nowhere. <laughs> I think that's how we'll, we'll, we'll progress. Uh, you know, action-based games, stuff like that. Uh, I'll be doing as uh, streams and then primarily narrative based games like Telltale games, games like Danganronpa, that kind of stuff will end up being kind of YouTube exclusives. Okay. So, yeah, the one big major release this week is the Dark Souls 3 DLC. You know, that Walking Dead episode is great. It'll be good, I'm sure, but it's going to be done in one session. So, it's not like, you know, anything that I'm expecting is going to take a long time. So, the pri primary focus this week will be the Dark Souls 3 DLC. I will be balancing that with the continuation of Zelda and Mass Effect for the rest of the week. Um, I am fully aware that MLB comes out this week, but that is my kind of back burner kind of deal. I'm not super interested in playing it right now. Mostly because, number one, I'm juggling way too many games uh, already. You know, one thing I wouldn't want to happen is, say, for example, Danganronpa. I'm having a lot of fun with that game. I've played... In the past two days, I've played uh, about five hours of it. And uh, I wouldn't want to have that game go on the back burner for like a month because I decided to start MLB. You know what I mean? Um, but also, MLB, sadly, is a game that I, it has licensed music in it. And I would have to turn that off to do a playthrough of it. And I don't even know if that's going to be worth it. I don't know. I'm, I'm debating doing MLB. But right now, I've got to focus on the games that I'm playing. Meaning, i got to finish Zelda, right? Keep going with Mass Effect, do the Dark Souls 3 DLC, and The Walking Dead. That's going to be all the stuff I'm doing this week. Keep in mind, this is all the huge build-up to the launch of Persona 5, which I think is going to be the biggest game I'm playing for quite some time. People are very excited to see me play Persona 5. I'm very excited to play Persona 5. And that's all starting on April 4th. <clears throat> so, yeah, lots going on. Lots of stuff going on right now. Very busy with all the games that I'm covering, which is why... Quite honestly, sadly, I've been neglecting KO Gaming, I know, because a lot of people like the edited style videos that I do, and they're like, Phil, are you going to do a first impressions on Zelda? Are you going to do a first impressions on Mass Effect Andromeda? Are you going to do a video for this? And I'm like, honestly, I just, I'm too busy. I'm literally playing so many games right now, juggling between all the different games that I don't have an opportunity to, uh, to really do anything for KO Gaming every single night. I've been doing game more gameplay, 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 gameplay. And uh, and by the way, coming up, I have to do my taxes, which I have to mention. My taxes need to be filed within, I believe it's the first two weeks of April. And I have not had a single chance to sit down and look at them. And typically it takes me a long time to do them because I have to go through the entire year putting together this expenses spreadsheet and everything for the business. Um, so, <clears throat> more than likely I'm going to be doing that first thing in April. <clears throat> And that means that's even more time I have to kind of take away, so. Ah. Miss Kelcher in the stream chat says, why don't I clone myself? Yeah, exactly. I wish, I wish that through osmosis, much like Drac in our last session of Mass Effect Andromeda, that I could split my body into several different ones. <laughs> and that, right, I could have... I, I said this last last time, too. I said, if only I could do that, right? One person could be playing the hot AAA releases. One person could be playing the not-so-hot AAA releases, like Danganronpa, but keep doing those and enjoying them. One person could be doing edited content for KO Gaming. One person could be doing nice full-time vlogging for the King of Hay Vlogs. 
And one person could do all the personal stuff that I have to do offline for my own life. Like the taxes, right? Um, this is the problem. Is that I am a one-man show. I've always been a one-man show. And it looks like, at least this point, I'll always be a one-man show. Um, and being that that is the case, I cannot do a lot of the stuff that other popular content creators do. Because I don't have a team of people working with me. I don't have, you know what I mean? Uh, I can't split the responsibility. It's all on me. And there's only so many hours in the day, and there's only so much that I can do. So, I'm doing my best, and I do want to say thank you. Because I have ha been having a lot of fun these past few weeks with the, the new style of streaming. And it has been successful. Uh, you know, it's been making, it's been profitable. It's been making a lot more money uh, than it used to, which is good. Because that's what I need right now to pay my bills with all the issues with YouTube. And See, that is the thing that I do want to bring up, folks. Uh, real quick. You know, since I, since DSP Gaming left Machinima and is now with Curse, the new partner network that I'm with, I did lose the managed partnership. This is 100% correct. I'm no longer in a managed partnership. Okay, it is true. Uh, oh, shout out to 007 Blaine, who did 75 bit cheer. He says, You can save on normal 2 in Persona 5 so you can play on normal. What he means by that is yesterday we were talking about Persona 5. Um, oh, also shout out to. Amakoru, who just subscribed. Thank you, Amakoru. Four months in a row, a sub. Thank you, thank you. Uh, but anyway, 007 Blaine yesterday was saying, oh, you know, in Persona 5, if you play it on easy, you can save a lot. Like, you can save on every floor of the dungeon or whatever, which is much better than the old Persona formula where, you know, if you die, you have to replay a ton of floors or whatever. Apparently, they've changed the formula now. The hell is that? Car outside. Hold on a second. I just heard a loud car outside. I was like, what the hell's that? Whoa. I just got, wow. I just got a text from my girlfriend. Whoa, there's a lot going on right now. A car pulled up outside, but that's not, has nothing to do with me. It was my neighbor. Um, I just got a text from my girlfriend. She went to the mall. And she says, there was a fire at the mall. Everyone's standing outside. <laughs> Holy shit. I wonder if it's a food court or something. That's interesting. Well, anyway, I just got super distracted. Hold on a second here. <laughs> I had like four things happen at once and it super duper distracted me from what I was saying. Alright, so the first thing I was saying was that... In Persona 5, it seems like you could, they've made many improvements to the game and you can save a lot more than you used to be able to. It may, basically, they made the game a lot easier and a lot less archaic. That's a good thing. And thank you to Blaine, who is now the cheerleader for today's stream with the 75-bit cheer. He got it started here today. Thank you, Blaine. Um, now, back to what I was saying. So, earlier this month, my DSP Gaming channel on YouTube left its Machinima partnership, which was a managed partnership, and it went into a partnership with Curse, which is a regular partnership. Sadly, what this means is that a ton of videos are getting content ID matched. Primarily, the ones that I'm seeing are Nintendo videos, anime-related games like Naruto, uh, sports-related games that had music in them like NBA 2K and MLB, and my Grand Theft Auto playthroughs in particular seem to be the ones that are getting flagged the most. The good news is, I've put up over 40,000 gameplay videos since DSP Gaming's been in effect since 2010, so even though you know, hundreds of videos are getting flagged, it's not necessarily having a giant impact on the channel or the business, so that's a good thing. But moving forward, I am going to have to be careful with what I play, like I just mentioned with MLB. If I ever am to play a new MLB game, I have to play it without the licensed music, okay? Uh, but anyway, I what I've noticed is since I am with Curse, I am making more money on the DSP Gaming channel than I was doing with Machinima. Now, the bad news is... It's nowhere near as much as I was making previously before all these changes that apparently changed the way that views are counted on YouTube and changed the way that channels are ranked on YouTube and all of that. Um, so it's a good thing that I've made the changes that I did to Twitch. Those These changes that I did to Twitch were necessary. Um, the more interactive streams to get people to you know cheer and sub and, and leave tips and stuff, absolutely necessary. If I didn't have this daily, I wouldn't be able to do this as a job anymore. 
So, even though things are better on YouTube, they're not back to where they were. And I don't think they ever will get back to where they were. I don't know how many of you have heard, but there have been some major companies coming out in the past few uh, days saying that they're basically going to pull their YouTube advertising because YouTube basically does an absolutely god-awful, terrible fucking job of screening videos that are uploaded to their website. In fact, they don't screen videos at all. They literally just say, oh, upload whatever you want, and then after the fact, if, if the community flags a video or whatever for being offensive, then it gets taken down. So I guess what's happened is these major companies who put in a lot of money into advertisement on YouTube have looked and noticed that their advertisements are running on videos that are like terrorism videos and racist videos and things that are just offensive and or, you know, not very advertiser friendly. And they've noticed that this is happening as a pattern too. It's not like, oh, this is a one-off. They just search for like the most offensive videos on YouTube and lo and behold, their companies are being advertised on these videos. Now, obviously they don't want to be associated with that stuff. So apparently, there a lot of companies are saying, what the fuck is this? We're going to pull our advertising from YouTube. This is bullshit. So what it's looking like is, sadly, and I hate to say this, uh, YouTubers are about to have a lot of problems. Anyone who is a full-time YouTuber is about to have a ton of problems because the ad revenue on YouTube looks like it's about to plummet, or it has already, because a lot of these advertisers already have pulled their advertisements. So, I think I've, I actually made the right decision and I, I, I took the right opportunity here um, to jump out of the realm of being the full-time YouTuber and instead more focusing on the interactivity of the streams here. I think that it was the right decision. At least from what I can see, we've been having a lot more fun here on streams, right? I mean, it's not just me. You and I have both had a lot of fun. Um... You know, with, with the streams. You know, I'm enjoying gaming more on a daily basis, having fun. Even if the games aren't stupendous, I'm still having fun here playing them with you. And it's like I said, Mass Effect Andromeda, we all kind of expected it wasn't going to be a, an amazing, uh, groundbreaking game. But it's been a fun playthrough so far because I've been able to interact and share this with you here on Twitch, right? So, uh, so yeah, I am, uh, you know, having fun with this and I hope that you're having fun with this too. Okay, and, uh, definitely, definitely looking forward to the future, let's put it that way, especially with those things like the Dark Souls DLC this week, and Persona 5, and, and fighting games in particular, you got Injustice 2 and Tekken 7 coming up, and I know people love to watch me do that, that kind of stuff, um, there's a lot of stuff coming up that I think people will be engaged with here on the stream, and it's gonna be a fun, uh, experience. For everyone to come join me every day, right? Excuse me. Okay, folks. Um, I really don't have much else to say on pre-stream today. There's just a few advertisements and stuff to go through. As you know, um, right now, Patreon. Uh, if you pledge to my Patreon by the end of the month, which is six days left to pledge to my Patreon, if you're interested. If you pledge five bucks or more, you can get in on an upcoming uh, Twitch and Chill event where patrons will be playing... Jackbox Party Pack with me, live on stream, and you will have the opportunity to get into a match guaranteed, um, which is cool because people have been wanting to do that, the, the other previous Twitch and Chill streams that I've had, but a lot of people haven't had the opportunity to get in, so that will be fun, and uh, I think that it should be uh, you know a good event, and uh, you know I've done multiplayer events like this in the past, and the patrons really loved them. Uh, keep in mind, it's not just about that, there's a lot of other stuff um, going on, uh, in particular with the perks and everything, you know, getting text and verbal thank yous in my videos, getting your questions answered on Ask the King, etc., so check it all out at patreon.com forward slash darksidephil, and thank you to everyone who already is a patron of mine, and gives your support monthly, I appreciate that, um, you know, my girlfriend has her own business called The Black Current, where she sells handmade glycerin soaps and wax tart melts, um, two years in operation, great quality stuff, check it out, I, the, the link has been on the screen here during the pre-stream, uh, I personally only wash with her soap and I absolutely love it, and there's tons of positive customer testimonials, if you don't believe me, you can see the people who've actually bought her stuff and tried it, and you'll see that they loved it too, okay? <laughs> Teespring, folks, um, I just want to say thank you to those who this week, uh, ordered some stuff from my Teespring, I saw that there was actually a surge in sales about the middle of the week, 
Um, and uh, I'm actually looking to possibly maybe add more stuff to the shop this week. We'll see. Uh, I have a, a bunch more logos, which I saved up, which I can add to the shop. Uh, you know, kind of as like a, a staggered deal. Maybe once a week I'll add a new logo or whatever. But Teespring's been great. High quality t-shirts, mugs, and everything. I actually don't have the mug with me today because it's in the wash. It's in the dishwasher. But, uh, you know, you've seen every day I've been drinking from the mug on stream. I've been wearing the shirts. People have been posting up as they receive the merch. I've been putting it on my social media at they call me DSP on Twitter. And, uh, I certainly, hopefully, uh, you know, hope that I've showed you now the quality of the product and that uh, you may be considering getting something. You know, that merch helps me out directly. It's like I said, right now, folks, I really need your support. In fact, real talk coming up in the next few weeks, probably the next two to three weeks, is the most I've ever needed your support. And what I mean by that is right now, my bills are going to be coming due for April. There's a one batch that comes due in early April and one batch that comes due in mid-April. And this is going to be the month where I have the least income ever in my entire lifetime. And that's not an exaggeration at all. Um, because what's going on right now is, sadly, I'm going to have the, uh, that insanely low ad revenue from February coming in from Machinima. And it is literally, I'm not even kidding you, thousands of dollars less than what I am usually get. And, uh, right now I'm going to be struggling to make ends meet. In fact, one of the few ways I may be able to pay my bills in April is because it's my birthday and my parents are giving me a birthday present. <laughs> So my parents are like, happy birthday, Phil. I'm like, gee, thanks. Now I can pay my bills. It's not like I actually get to spend it on something nice for myself. <laughs> uh, that's kind of the situation I'm in right now. So for those who are watching my live stream, for those who are watching this on demand on YouTube, if you want to know how you can help me out the most right now, there's three ways because these three methods, I can actually get uh, – that money really quickly. Number one would be Teespring. If you buy anything from my Teespring shop, uh, you actually can get, uh, I get that kind of right away. So check it out. It's, that's at teespring.com forward slash shops forward slash, uh, excuse me, hold on. I think I said that wrong. I'm actually going to put the Teespring link into the stream chat. Oops. It's actually teespring.com forward slash stores forward slash DSP gaming. Excuse me. Um, yeah, check that out. Get yourself a nice shirt, a mug, and that helps me out directly, okay? Number two would be Patreon, because Patreon I actually get once a month, and I'll be getting that right here in early uh, April. So if you pledge to my Patreon, that helps me tremendously. Or tipping me here on the stream. And by the way, don't don't think that I am taking subs or, t or cheers for granted. Absolutely not. Yesterday we hit 250 subs here on the stream. That is awesome. That means we can add new emotes. And in fact, Popsicolo already made a new emote. And I've already submitted it. So we're going to see if it gets... Uh, uh, yeah. We're going to see if it gets approved right away. And uh, we'll go from there. But I hope that it does get approved. And we'll have a new emote for everyone. Thanks to Popsicolo for whipping that up so quickly. Um, and yeah, even and your bits also help. In fact, I want to say shout out to HillbillyBuzz42. Who did a 100-bit cheer. And he says, Phil, remember the Airbrush Blanca shirt that I made for you? Holy crap. Yes, I do. And yes, I still have that shirt. It's in the, it is in my, my, uh, my drawer. The reason I don't wear it is because actually I wore it a lot back in the day and it kind of got worn out. Um, you know, after washing it so many times and wearing it, it's kind of, it's faded now. But yeah, I remember that shirt was freaking awesome, man. That was back in the Street Fighter 4 days when I, it had just come out and I was playing Blanca all the time in the game. And, uh, this viewer made an airbrushed shirt. Freaking awesome, right? Um, but yeah, so please keep in mind, I'm not taking bits with cheers or subs for granted at all, but if you tip me, meaning if you're watching the stream and you look below the stream, there's a little section here on my, my Twitch page where you can click and, uh, and it brings you to the tips page. If you tip me, I get that right away, which means I'll be able to actually immediately apply that to my bills. And that would be very nice if you, if you have, a, if you have the option to say, gee, I'd like to help Phil. How can I help him? The three best ways right now would either be Teespring, Patreon, or Tips. Once we get to May, that won't be the case. Because come May, I'm actually going to be getting all the money from the bits and the subs and everything that came in this month since my increase in streaming and my change in streaming. And I think we're going to be good. Okay? But we have to get there. That's the thing. <laughs> we actually have to get there. Alright? <clears throat> Alright, folks. 
Um, so that's pretty much it. That was a lot to, uh, of talking, but I think now we are ready to start. Are you guys ready? Looks like my stream is... Oh boy, my uh, laptop's having a lot of problems. <laughs> I'm trying... The stream is like barely loading for me. I don't know what's going on. All right. That's it. Time to end the pre-stream. Time to start with Mass Effect the Andromeda. Hopefully we get more viewers. I don't know what's going on. and I don't, I don't even know if what it's saying here for the view count is correct. Hopefully we get more viewers. I don't know what's going on. People all week have been liking my, my stream of this game. And now all of a sudden it says there's 200 people on stream. So you can figure that out. I don't know. Then again, it doesn't really matter. As long as we're all here and we're enjoying it and people are participating. It doesn't matter how many people are on stream. That's the cool thing about this now. Is I don't have to really worry necessarily about views. Because... Twitch streaming is not about ad revenue. At all. Ad revenue is terrible on Twitch. It's all about the other methods, so. Alright, folks. Uh, that is it. Let's get started. Mass Effect Andromeda. Here we go. Mm -hmm. 